Hey there guys, what's going on today? Long time no see indeed. It is I, Azure here, and welcome to my first hands-on look here, a completely blind first impression here of Sonic Frontiers. It's time for us to really see now if Sonic is truly back. Or perhaps did he ever even leave in the first place? That's what we're going to be finding out here today and now. Before we begin and dive on into Sonic's latest journey here, if you like what you see from this video and if you also enjoy me, and would love to see what other content I produce as well, then be sure to give this video a like and to also comment on your favorite moment from this video. And to kick things off here, why don't we go ahead and go with the hard difficulty. Okay, so this is where we get down to the nitty gritty here. So action style is recommended for people who are not familiar with Sonic games here. So I'm going to go ahead and go with high speed style. So then without further ado, let's get Sonic's newest journey underway. I wonder who that could be. It's probably Eggman. Ah, I was right. Good old Baldy McNose hair. Uh oh. What did he just do? Uploading AI program now. <laughs> Whoa, who the heck are these guys? Yes, it's all coming online. The ancient secrets will be mine. Status report. Answer me! Simulations complete. Executing protective initiative. What? No! No! It's good to see Sonic in the gang again. Coming up, Starfall Islands. How exciting! You tracked the Chaos Emeralds here, right? Let's find out what drew them here. Well, that escalated quite quickly. Now where the heck are we? Let's take a look around here. Alright! So we use the directional pad here and the analog stick to move around. And pressing R2 will have Sonic Boost. Sounds simple enough, let's give it a go. Okay, so Sonic definitely has some momentum in this game. Let's see how his, uh, his turning is here. Okay, seems pretty good. Ooh, we got a red ring. Nice. Yeah, this uh, new boost here will definitely take some getting used to, but I think we can work with it. 
Alright, so now for our next tutorial, we're going to be taught about jumping. Now let's go! Okay, yeah, so this is about the homing attack now. Alright, grinding is back. Okay, so enemies can now be defeated with homing attacks by pressing the square button when a target cursor is on them. So basically, this is still like Generations in a way, and Sonic Forces, cough cough, but very minor alterations here. I do hope, though, that there are more levels like this in the game. To be honest, though, it is nice to see Green Hill again, even if it's in a small capacity here. Aw oh, man, we got a C rank. You know what, why don't we give this another go here and see if we can get a better rank. What do you guys say? Now, why don't we give this another go? Aw oh, yeah, let's kick it up a notch. Let's see if we can beat our record here. And now we're playing with real speed. Don't try us at home, guys. And a one, and a two, and a... I have a good feeling about this time. Alright, and that's how you do it right there. Let's see what rank we got this time around. Yeah, we got an A rank. Okay, so now with that done, why don't we get out of here and see just uh, what's going on now in terms of the story. I wonder though, what did Eggman really do? There's only one way for us to find that out. Amy? Oh. Looks like I'm the only one who made it out of that. Whatever it was. Whew. Mortal. Oh. Hello? You have done the impossible. You have escaped cyberspace through your own power. You are the key. Key, huh? Sure beats being called a rodent. Are you saying I can rescue my friends? Find the Chaos Emeralds. Destroy the Titans. Tear down the walls between dimensions. Yeah, okay, sure. How about a little context? Hello? Some direction is better than none. Here we go. So to look around here, all we have to do is simply use the right analog stick to rotate the camera and to help us find our way forward. Yeah, this looks really good here in terms of the graphics. And we can go into the options here and change our settings to the way that we prefer. Alright, sounds good to me.
Now to activate these switches, there are three ancient switches on the ground. Activating them all will earn you a reward and unlock a new part of the map. Okay, okay, so this is really open world here. Or, I guess, open areas? The heck is that thing? Some kind of heart looking object? Once we complete more challenges here, it will reveal the surrounding areas on the map. Once revealed, the map will help us in locating guardians, portals, and memory tokens. Sounds pretty self-explanatory here. Yeah, this game I cannot get over enough. I know I may be gushing here a little bit, but these graphics are truly impressive here. Now, for notifications, these may appear when Sonic is near something new. So you press down while the notification is displayed to practice the action in the training simulator. Okay, cool. So this is like a free space where we can try out all our moves. Now then, let's keep venturing on ahead. So when enemies are defeated, they drop various items such as skill pieces and seeds. And if we gather enough of those up, we can get skill points. So hopefully this will have like a dedicated skill tree section to the game. Yeah, this feels so good to play. I guess boot camp's over now. Yeah, Sonic really does stop on a dime in this. A ninja? Uh oh. So this is a guardian, and are bigger than normal enemies and have special attacks. Study their moves to find an opening. Okay, so this is very, very interesting here. Having combat in the Sonic game. How did I just do that? Didn't have enough yet, huh? Yeah. Well, we've got a full course meal for ya. If you can't handle the heat, stay out of the kitchen. So these guardians here will drop a portal gear for us, as these are very important, so don't forget to pick them up. Now then, let's see where this takes us here. Oh, okay, so we just did like a giant circle, basically. Well, alright then.
What do these statues do? Okay, so if we activate all of these, this will open up a gate. Guess it's time now for a good old old school puzzle section. All right, we did it. Okay, so we've unlocked Sonic's Psyloop ability. Using these skill points here that have been accumulated, as shown in the right lower portion of the screen. We definitely have to give that a shot. Ah, and there is the handy dandy skill tree I see. So all we have to do is hold down triangle while moving and we create a light trail. Then after creating a light trail, we release the button and various effects can happen. So then to use the side loop here, all we have to do is hold down the triangle button and run around in a circle. Okay, seems self-explanatory. By using that then in the open field here, we can not only find rings, but also memory tokens and seeds. Sounds good to me. Now let's give this thing a go. That's really cool. You know, it kind of reminds me of the uh, blue tornado from Sonic Heroes, but without the tornado effect. Not sure if anyone else uh, picked up on that little homage or not, or, or if it's just me. But either way, this new move of Sonic's would definitely come in handy. Wow, you look at that. We're already unlocking uh, other portions of the map here. Now let's see, where else can we go here? Ah, the good old trusty stomp. Yeah, just look at this game, guys. And we've barely scratched the surface here. Quite literally. So, why don't we try out the side loop here in combat? As some enemies use shields to protect themselves here. So we can use the handy dandy side loop here to take care of him quick. Guess you all didn't get enough the first time around. Those guys weren't so tough. And it looks like that takes care of them. Hopefully later on we can configure our settings here and have Sonic move a little bit more gracefully. But for now though, this is fine. Okay, and we've reached the tower now. Between dimensions. 
Alright, so unactivated portals here can be activated with the help of portal gears. I wonder where this is going to take us though. Only one way to find out. It is not enough to make the connection. One gear will not suffice. Hunt down another target and take its gear. What the heck is that? Alright, so it's a cyber tower? Or I guess it's a guardian here. Well, alright then. So Sonic also has a dodge move here that we can use to lock on enemies. And also by pressing the L1 or R1 button too, we can perform a dodge. That is most definitely helpful. Why don't we see what this tower is really made of? Why don't we see if it knows how to dance? Okay, handy dandy boost, don't fail me now. Yeah, that'll teach ya. Hey, I didn't say you could move. Alright, now we're making some progress. Ooh, rings! Glorious rings. I guess we scared this thing here. It's trying to run away. Alright, we got it on the ropes now. So when an enemy is about to attack us, a visual effect will appear running between Sonic and the enemy. What? It didn't work! Oh yeah. Bring it on. And we scored another portal gear. Now, why don't we head back over to the tower here and see what really is going to happen. Use the gear as you have done before. Return to cyberspace as many times as it takes. Let's see what this level's like, guys. Okay, so we have to reach the goal. And we can also clear it with an S rank. As well as find 80 rings. And all the red star rings. And away we go!
Alright guys, here we go. Yeah, it's good to have more of these levels here. We can really show off Sonic speed. This is so cool. It's just like Sky Sanctuary. Now, yeah, why don't we kick things up a notch? Let's go! And we did it, guys! That was a very, very fun second stage there. Now, let's see what happens next. What? We got a D rank? Come on. And we scored two vault keys. That's what I'm talking about. Sweet. We can finally get one of the Chaos Emeralds now. And also, a new area. Now it's time for us to grab that Chaos Emerald. Watch though, something come out of nowhere and punch us in the face here. I honestly wouldn't be too surprised if one of Eggman's goons is waiting up there to ambush us and steal the Emerald for itself. Oh, so these are kind of like Chow, it looks like, except that they're called Coco and appear to be lost. So we have to locate their elder and return them home. Wow, guys, we already got our first Chaos Emerald here. And with no special stage shenanigans whatsoever. Now let us claim our prize. Okay, I'm calling it right now. That gigantic looking tower, I guess it is. I feel like we're gonna have to fight that probably. It just seems way too massive for us to not have to tangle with it at some point.
And would you look at that. From here on out, we're free to explore the island and gather all the other Chaos Emeralds. Sounds like a plan to me. Messing with the ruins will fix things. Hold on. I'll get you out of there. Holy crap! How the heck are we going to take something like this down? No, we have to fight this thing? Already? Look at this thing, though. It's absolutely massive in size. But you know what they say, the bigger they are, the harder they fall. However, it's not going to be too much bigger for long. Not unless we have anything to say about it. Check out the view. Alright, we're doing some damage here. Just a few more, we can put this thing out of commission. Now, only two more left to go. Let's see what this thing can really do. You better try harder than that if you ever hope to bring this hedgehog down. Okay, here we go. Round two. Come on, Sonic, just a few more hits. Alright, that'll teach you. And that's how it's done. Now for the final phase, I guess, here, hopefully, of this boss fight. Let's wrap this up. Why don't we put this thing to bed? Sorry about that big guy, nothing personal. But you were in our way. Well guys, I would say that so far here, it looks like Sonic truly is back. And that's saying something here. Uh, this definitely gives me Sonic Adventure vibes 110%. This is at least a solid foundation for future Sonic games to hopefully be built upon and further develop more. I would say that so far here, I am definitely a fan of Sonic Frontiers as a whole. As this has a lot of potential to be a beast of a game for certain so if you guys like what you see from this video and would love to see even more content from me in the future then be sure to let me know and drop a comment and a like down below about what your favorite moment from this was as we experience sonic frontiers together here and so then until my next video when we all meet again i've been your host for today azor and i am signing off but be sure to stick around though and keep it tuned right here, for I'll be catching you all in the next one. So until then, remember to take care, and have a great day. See you guys later.
Oh man, that's just begging to be climbed. Imagine the view.